This is a Blaring Out with Eric Blair show, and tonight we're here at the premiere for the movie Lemmy, a documentary about one of the hardest working men in rock and roll, Lemmy of Motorhead. Slim Jim, what's, what, now here you are at the premiere for the Lemmy movie, you tour with Lemmy, what kind of impact has Lemmy had on your life while touring with him? Well, um, with Lemmy, the thing with he and I, it, it all started from friendship. We've been, I've known him ever since I was a kid almost, like 18 years old. And our group was a way that we could spend some time together and kind of our mutual love of the original rock and rollers. And um, we got a little gig to do an Elvis tribute song and we did it in about 10 minutes and had a whole day left in the studio. So we just kept going. And that's over 10 years ago. And we always try to find a couple of weeks every year in everyone's schedule that, that we go out and we play and have fun and pretty much pay tribute to the original rock and rollers which you'll see in the film is a huge influence on Lamb and like it's uh, I was just gonna say weren't, weren't you in total awe of Lemmy's experiences with seeing the Beatles at the Cavern Club and seeing Buddy Holly and you worshipping those guys yeah. coming up with, with the Stray Cats when I was there there wasn't it's still a mystery with him I've known him 30 years and spent a lot of time together and the first two times I saw the movie I said you never told me that I thought I knew everything but there's still He's got an incredible life, and there's not many people who warrant a complete movie, rock and roll. He's got to be one of them. It's fantastic stuff. It's true, true rock and roll. Now, let me just go on another uh, another thought here. Do you know, since 2005, Rockabilly and the Rockabilly look and the pinup girl, that has become a, a, a counterculture which has taken over the world. Does it blow your mind? And have you thought about getting the Stray Cats back, back together for a big tour? Well, the Stray Cats have been playing pretty regularly the past five, seven years. So uh, we've been doing it. I kind of think we're responsible for it. I, I, I used to kind of beat around the bush a little bit when, when, when asked, but now anyone who's into that look and that style, they have the first Stray Cats album. They've been exposed to it some way, somehow, and uh, I'm very flattered by that. Then uh, if that causes someone to go deeper into the well and find out who we liked, and then they arrive at Eddie Cochran and Gene Vincent and Elvis Presley, of course, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee, Little Richard, all the better. So I kind of feel we're doing our part, really. And it's, it's, it's really one of the few truly American, you know, cultural phenomenons. So that's what I'm most proud of. It's purely American. And you have a Head Cat record coming out, and tell me how this is going to differ than from one of the other ones. Uh, the last one we did, Lemmy plays bass on it. So on the first record, he uh, we had an upright bass, and on this one, it's Lemmy playing bass, Lemmy style. And so it's completely different, but it's very much us at the same time. The Blaring Out Show.